but then the stories surrounding them are not necessarily true either. So, so you get like elements of truth, but there's you know, a lot of folklore built around that and a lot of political propaganda. But it just threw up this whole idea of, well, what can I trust? So I thought, well, maybe, maybe I'll just go to the New Testament. And, and uh, you know, I hadn't looked as deeply into the New Testament as the Old Testament. And I, I think partly I was, I was trying to save myself. You know, I think I knew that if I did, like I was already a little bit familiar with Bible college being what it is, you cover everything, if not in the same depth. So I'd learned about, you know, Q and, and the different sources and learned a little bit about Boltman. And so I was aware of, you know, some stuff around that. And you know, the fact that the Gospels are dated between sort of 30 and 70 years after. So even just knowing bits of that is, is in itself quite worrying because you think, well, can I really trust this either? And so really a big part for me of the whole like leaving faith behind was was a gradual lack of trust in the Bible, uh, which had been sort of the center of my faith. 